Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see a problem based on analytic function and its derivative under this complex functions. Solution. The question is, show that w is equal to log z where z is not equal to 0 is analytic and find dw by dz means we need to we need to check for first whether it is analytic or no means we have to show that it is analytic and also we need to find its derivative so the given part so w is equal to log of z so which implies so w can be written as u plus iv and log z will take it as what here mm, so i will put z is equal to r into e raised to i theta polar form i will take so it will be easy if you take a log of x plus i y so we cannot expand log of x plus i y so we don't have any other uh, property easily so the better will go for what here put z is equal to r into e raised to i theta so log of in place of z i will put r into e raised to i theta so which is nothing but so we know that log of x y is nothing but log of x plus log of y so therefore log of x plus y x is nothing but r and y is nothing but e raised to i theta so i will apply the property so log of r plus log of e raised to i theta or i will again go for the simplification so log of r so we know we have one more property log of a raised to n can be written as n log of a so here log e raised to i theta so i will apply the property it will become i theta into log of e but as we know that log of e is always one log of e is always one so therefore on final simplification log of r plus log e is one so one into i theta will become i theta so this is nothing but what here u plus iv so therefore log r is free from i but theta is with i so i can say that log r is a real part and theta is imaginary part so here on comparison u is a real part okay so here log r is a real part v is the imaginary part and theta is what here imaginary part so on equating real and imaginary on equating on equating real and imaginary parts so u will become log of r and v will become theta so we got u and v that is real part is u imaginary part is v now on difference we have to differentiate to check the uh, analytic function whether they are analytic or no we need to go for differentiation so on differentiating differentiating with respect to r and theta partially so we have to differentiate u with respect to r as well as theta v with respect to r as well as theta so we'll go one by one so we'll differentiate u that is in short we'll write u r that is partial derivative in short we can write u r so with respect to r so differentiation of u with respect to r so log r will become 1 by r and differentiation of v with respect to r so theta is a constant with respect to r 0 similarly we have to go u and v with respect to theta now so u theta so differentiation of u with respect to theta so log of r is constant with respect to theta so therefore it is 0 and v theta so differentiation of theta with respect to theta is 1 so we got u r v r u theta v theta so as we know that our cr equation in polar in cr equation in polar it is u r is equal to it is 1 upon r into v theta and v r is equal to minus 1 upon r into u theta so if you compare u r is nothing but 1 upon r so 
so therefore i can say that u r is nothing but 1 upon r into v theta so here first condition will satisfy and v r so v r is equal to v u theta so this condition also satisfy so here so on simplification i can say that so u r is equal to 1 upon r into v theta so first condition is satisfying because of these two and because of these two and because of these two we can write it v r is equal to u theta that is i can uh, in write in general it is minus 1 upon r into u theta so which implies cr equation satisfy if cr equation satisfy so we we can conclude it what here w is equal to log z is analytic if it is analytic we can go for what here its derivative okay so to find its derivative to find dw by dz we'll use the function f dash of z is equal to for polar form so remember the polar form i have given the step number three it is e raised to minus i theta of u r plus i times v r you have to remember this results very important so step number three in the uh, procedure i have given so therefore f dash of z will become e raised to minus i theta will as it is u r value just now we got u r so u r value we got 1 upon r will replace it 1 upon r plus i as it is v r value we got 0 so which is nothing but so i into 0 is 0 so what we got here 1 upon r into e raised to minus i theta so once we get this so we have to go for the simplification so e raised to minus i theta i will re rewrite it f dash of z is equal to 1 upon r as it is this e raised to minus i theta i will write 1 upon e raised to plus i theta which is nothing but 1 upon r into e raised to i theta which is nothing but 1 upon z because z is nothing but e raised to r into e raised to i theta as per the polar definition it is r into what here e raised to i theta so therefore f dash of z is equal to 1 by z so we got the derivative or i can write symbolically dw by dz is equal to 1 by z so this is a required derivative of the given function w is equal to log z using analytic function.